That's why even if they nerf sequence shock, because it, that's what I use, this seed will never be better than corrupted. Feels good being right. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Cyberslade, and this is my Corrupted Deceit build for the last DLC. But I highly recommend you to watch my previous video about the Corrupted Deceit, so you have a little more info about the gun and why it stands out from normal Deceit. Stay tuned until the end, because I have a little surprise for you. Let's begin. Corrupted Deceit, well, it didn't change too much build-wise, but we do have a new ring that opened up a bit of options. Feathery Binding, increasing projectile speed and decreasing charge time. Also, the bonus is doubled when we activate the haste buff. For that, I took Nightweaver's Grudge. So this is the core synergy of the build. The other rings to complement will be Archer's Crest for more firepower, Probability Cord for some extra critical damage, and last one, Blood Beauty over Xenia's Malice. For Handgun, we have two options. Nebula for easy mod damage and activation with Corrosive debuff to activate the haste provided by the Nightweaver's Grudge, or Corrupt the Run Pistol for 10% multiplicative all damage and 10% weak spot damage when you kill a minion. But I think overall Nebula is better right now. For Relic Fragments I chose Crit Chance, Crit Damage and Weak Spot Damage. The usual. Melee Weapon, Crit Alex with Tainted Blade. Alright, the best mutator for Corrupted Deceit is Supercharger, no debate here. But thanks to the new ring we do have two more options that are close in DPS. The first one being Battery and the second one being Momentum. The traits are the ones you see over here on the screen. Let's do a quick DPS test. As you can see, it goes around 5.5k DPS, which is not that bad in this patch, right? After all the nerfs. So I did say I had a little surprise for you, but first, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? We are almost there on 1000, so it would be nice, please, and give it a like also. Thank you. So there we go. This is my Deceit build. Because I know, even if Corrupted is better, there's some people that still like Deceit as it is. So why not? But first, let me show you the DPS and the gunplay loop. Alright, first of all, of course, it's not going to be as strong as Corrupted. But let me tell you one thing, I'm not using Failing Sigil. Maybe some of you might have already noticed, so let me show you. Two things that are crucial to make this messy weapon work again. First, Gunfire Security Linear. It was buffed lately on the last patch, so it gives you extra bullets in the magazine. Previously, people used Butcher's Fetish, but because of the poor mod regen, you still need a lot of mod power back. With this, you lose some DPS per bullet, you have extra 2 or 3 shots that you need to fully charge the weapon mod again. The second thing is in the relic fragments. We need to reduce our mod cost, otherwise we can barely fill up the mod again. The rest is as usual as ever, nothing else is new here. But there's one thing that I want to add to this. Don't take a harmonizer on the secondary weapon, because it's not generating any extra mod power. And I don't know if it was always like this before, or did they change something and I don't remember. But it is what it is. Takes failsafe instead. Traits are the ones you see here on the screen. The same as Corrupted Deceit, nothing changes. Mill Weapon, Hero Sword with Edgelord. And of course, as the Mutator, Supercharger for Deceit. Alright guys, one very important thing. The Gunfire Security Linear doesn't regenerate ammo that fast, you know? It helps, but it's not that fast. So you don't see it because you just see a video, but what I'm doing here basically is when I'm shooting on the middle of the mod charge, when it's, let's say is on the on the middle, I just stop for a millisecond for a bit so the linear regenerate the ammo back and then start shooting again. Otherwise what happens sometimes is that you're just gonna be one shot away from refilling again the mod. So you don't want that to happen. For that you need just to stop a bit in the middle and start again and keep going, you know? So let me see. 
I'm gonna activate this, this. So we're gonna do this. I'm pressing. I didn't, I didn't stop. Stop. Again. Then again. I will have the mod again. Pressing. Stop. Shoot again. And you see, I didn't do it correctly. I didn't fill it up. So that sometimes can happen. So it's a little bit tricky, but yeah, is this it? You know this. I don't like this weapon at all. I'm just doing this because I know some of you like it. And why not, right? There you go, the build. You could change as well if you don't want to wait like a millisecond. I think it's bugged. I think it's more than one second. It feels like at least right now. You can use Hunter's Mark. You're gonna do less damage, of course. But you don't have to wait a little bit. So because it's too many things to keep in mind, you know? That's why I don't like this hit. You have to wait wait a bit, then throw the melee, then stop, then try Ah, it's too much. It's I don't like this weapon. <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you very much. Give it a like, subscribe. We are almost 1000. You know, it would be nice to break 1000 this week or the next week. And that's it. Thank you very much. Cyber, out.